Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoors and in this video we will see how to flatten a binary tree to a linked list. This is from tree and a linked list problem based on tree traversal. This is from lead code number 114. We will discuss all the important interview follow-up problems which you might get after having solved this question. So stay tuned till the end of the video. Are you ready to take your programming skills to the next level? Well, you are at the right place. Welcome to our data structures and algorithms live interview training program, Interview Dose. Get ready to dive deep into the world of efficient coding and problem solving. In Interview Dose, you will get a solid understanding of key data structures such as array, stack, queue, heap, trees, and along with that, you will also master powerful algorithms based on maths, geometry, graph, and dynamic programming. What sets Interview Dose apart from other courses is the live interactive format. You won't just be watching the pre-recorded sessions but you will join me along with other passionate learners in real time where we will be covering the concepts together. Imagine having the opportunity to ask questions, engage in discussion and collaborate with your fellow learners. It's a supportive community where we all grow together. But it doesn't stop there. We will dive into hands-on coding exercises solving real-world problems and you will get to work with the interview assignments that will showcase your newfound expertise. Taking interview dose has already been a game changer for a lot of students and working professionals. It didn't just help them to improve their coding skills but also boosted their confidence for tackling complex problems. The live interactive sessions make all the difference. Unlock your coding potential by taking the first step forward. Contact us on WhatsApp for more details. Let us now look at the problem statement. In this problem, given the root of the binary tree, flatten the tree into a linked list. The linked list should use the same tree node where the right pointer should behave like the next pointer in a linked list and the left pointer should always be null. The linked list should be in the same order as the pre-order traversal. So they have made it easy by providing the tree traversal technique. If we are given a tree and a example linked list, then first thing we need to do is we have to identify about what is the tree traversal which we do on the tree so that I get the same order in the linked list seeing from left to right. Now in this problem they have made it easy by saying it is a pre-order traversal. If they had not mentioned about this then we had to compare the list by using three traversals pre-order, in-order and post-order and generally the problem comes in one of these orders. So we had to check by applying this on the tree and see if the linked list follows one of this order. So the first step is to find out the tree traversal technique. In this case they have given it as pre-order. Now once you know it is the pre-order, then you can simply do the pre-order traversal on the tree. Let's see this. So if you do the pre-order traversal, you get 1, 2, 3 and then you get 4 and then you get 5 and after that 6. So whenever you reach a node for the first time, you have to write it or print it. I have already made a video on the easiest way to do tree traversals. I'll share the link in the description below. Now once you have understood about the tree traversal technique, the second thing to do is to actually convert this tree into a linked list. So the word flattening means you have to do this without taking up extra space. Like you do not have to make a new linked list out of this, but you just have to convert this tree into a linked list structure. So if you can see here, the left pointers are in red and I have made all of them as null and only the right pointers are pointing to the next nodes. So this is effectively a single linked list, right? It is not a double linked list. It is a single linked list because the left pointers are useless here. Now let us look at the solution approach of how we should solve these type of problems. I am taking the same example and uh, we will have to see, I mean, what all variables do we need actually to flatten a tree? Now in this case, first I will make the assumption of the variables and later on after seeing the entire solution, you will understand about why did we actually maintain those variables. So we need a previous node variable, we need a current node variable and we need a right subtree root variable. Okay, so this will be named as R. At this point of time, you just assume that we are taking three variables. Even if you don't know, uh, you will get to know once we are done with the entire processing. Let's see now how to convert this structure into a linked list. So initially your linked list is empty. Since we are maintaining pre-order, the first node of the pre-order traversal is the root node. Hence the current will be one. Previous is null. If the previous was a non-null variable, 
then actually the next pointer of the previous must point to the current node so first thing which we need to do is to check if the previous is null or non null in this case it is null so we don't do anything now we will just assume that this is the first node of the linked list and hence while moving on to the next node what is the next node it is the left pointer so you see that the left pointer is non null hence the current must move to 2 now once you are moving to 2 the first thing which you need to do is the current node will now become the previous node so before updating the current node you will have to update the previous and assign it to the new current value which is 1 and then even before moving on to 2 we have to save this right subtree because if we come back to 1 how do we know what is the next uh, subtree to be processed hence we will have to save this link as well so the link will be saved by using an r pointer and that will be the current's right node so this is r which is the third variable right subtree root now we have everything in place the previous node is this one the current is all, was already one and the right is pointing to five now we can safely go to the left subtree node which is two now again we will have to repeat the process first thing you need to check is the previous existing yes the previous is existing right so what we need to do is the previous is right pointer must be pointing to the current node because that is acting like the next pointer okay so what is the previous is right node it is actually pointing to 5 so this will be delinked and it will be relinked to this too and then write the line of making this left pointer equivalent to null so this left pointer will become null this is the change we are making and you see that if we make this kind of change then if we go back in the recursion to 1 since we have delinked the uh, subtree rooted at 5 we will never be able to process it hence we will be using this third variable r which will actually save the right subtree so that even if we delink this still we will be able to come back to 5 and process the right subtree i think now it should be clear so once we are done processing the previous node we will have to update the previous node so previous will be this node again and uh, again a new r pointer will be taken this r pointer is a separate one it will be made as a separate separate variable in the call stack so whenever we make a recursion call we will define this variable r within the recursion call hence it will be created and in every call of recursion and those all copies will be separate so this r and this r is different now we have everything in place we have the previous in place now our current can go to the left node 3 this is our current node now again we will do the same kind of processing we will see if the previous node is non-null yes it is non-null so make the right pointer point to this current node which is 3 and hence this will be delinked and then make the left pointer equals to null right so this will be delinked as well and now again do the same kind of update so make a r pointer come here the r pointer will be null make the previous pointer come to the current and then make the current go to this value which is null now this is the base case when the current is null then we will have to uh, return from the recursion so we will have to backtrack so when we are backtracking then we will reach back to 3 and when we are back to 3 then we will be processing the r pointer so we will make the next recursion call by using r when i go to r the r is also null so again this is hitting the base case and we will return to 3 now we are done processing both the left and the right subtree hence we will go back in recursion and if we go back then we are going back to this 2 when we are at this 2 going back that is reaching to 2 for the second time then we know that the left subtree is already done hence we are reaching 2 for the second time now we should process the right subtree and I know that I had uh, saved the right child using the R pointer. So basically I'm, I will be calling the uh, same function by using R pointer. So now our current will be here at 4. My previous is at this value, right? All these previouses were updated. My previous is at this value. There is only one copy of previous, okay? Multiple copies are not generated. Multiple copies of R will get generated because this is declared inside the recursion call using a normal variable. Okay. In this case, you will have to check if the previous is non null. Yes, it is non null. So make the right pointer point to this node, make the left pointer null as it is given. And uh, now you update the previous node to this node, which is the current node. And you have to save the R pointer here again and make the current go to the left child. 
so this is where the current will be right so you see that this is becoming a little clumsy uh, but i hope you will be able to understand now what we need to do again the current is hitting a base case so you will return back to 4 process this r again this will hit the base case because this is null so return back to 4 and then go back to 2 go back to 1 now 1 has been reached for the second time hence you will recur and make the call for r so here you have current now at 5 your previous is at 4 now check if the previous is null no it is not null so make the right pointer point to this 5 okay and make the left pointer null it is already null and now you update the previous to this node 5 and uh, save r here create an r and save this 6 and make the current to the left call so the left call is already null hence you will return back from here and make a call to the right side so now your current will be here and uh, again you repeat the same process the previous is null no it is not null so make the right pointer point to this 6 yes it is already pointing to 6 make the left pointer null it is null and now make the previous as this node make here uh, r which is null and now make current go to the left side so this is null so it will return back make a call to r it will return back to 6 it will go back to 5 go back to 1 and you are done if you see how the structure has changed then you see that the first node will be 1 and then you have the left pointer as null right pointer is pointing to 2 its left pointer is null the right pointer is pointing to 3 its left pointer is also null as you can see here the right pointer of this is pointing to 4 its left pointer is null right now the force right pointer is pointing to 5 its left pointer is again null pointing to 6 this left pointer is null and this right pointer is also null this is the expected structure which we wanted and uh, these are the three variables which actually helped me to get the single link list in the pre-order traversal so i hope you must have understood about why do we need all these variables i think the code will clarify all your doubts you must have understood that previous node is required just to link all the nodes in the given pre-order then the current node will actually tell you what node are we looking at in the given pre-order and then the right subtree route is important because once we are going to the left subtree then maybe the right pointer will get changed and it will uh, make a new structure hence the right subtree can be totally delinked so we will have to save it so that once we reach back in recursion we can actually process the right subtree so all these variables are very important now the time complexity is order of n since we are reaching to node three times maximum and the space complexity is order of n because we are solving this by recursion and the tree can be a skewed tree now let us look at the code and once we come back we will look at all possible follow problems this is the code for our given problem we are given the root node i am defining the previous as null so if this is having just a single copy it is not like previous will be created in every recursion call no it just has a single copy we are making the pre-order call and in the pre-order you see that the root node i mean the right pointer node is always getting created this means every recursion call will have a separate r pointer which will be pointing to the right child okay so the first line is if the current is uh, null then basically you return this is the base case second case is if the previous exists that means if the current is not the first node then the previous is right pointer must point to the current node and the previous is left pointer must be made null so this is the update we need to make and then once we are at a current node uh, we will have to save the right uh, pointer in r so that we can go to the left subtree and start processing and your previous must also be updated with the current value because current will now get an updated value and it will go to the left and once we return back in recursion line number 24 will hit and then we will move to the r pointer which is the right child and start processing the right subtree rooted at this current node so this is the entire code for the problem let us now look at all possible follow-up problems so the first possible follow-up problem can be flatten a binary tree to a link list using in order traversal so this is a single link list question we were asked using the pre-order but you can be asked using in order traversal or post order traversal and even the traversal order may not be mentioned but an example will be given and you have to figure out what kind of traversal is used uh, the next type of question can be you can be asked to flatten a binary tree to a doubly linked list where the left pointer will be the previous pointer and the right pointer will be the next pointer 
or you can be asked to make a circular linked list now in this example if you wanted to make it a circular linked list you can make the next pointer of the tail point to the head node and this is how you can make a circular linked list so that was a circular uh, single linked list but you can be also asked to make circular doubly linked list and you can combine this with all these uh, different type of traversals in order pre order post order anything right so i have already given some of the diagrams in order linked list post order linked list how they will look like and uh, doubly linked list right so you can go through them these are the important possible follow up problems if you need the pdf of this video lecture then do follow us on telegram we will share the pdf on telegram do follow us on instagram to get interview tips and uh, strategies on how to crack top companies see you guys in the next video thank you